we have a biofuel stove that's going to be uh, on the main level that can be powered by corn, wheat, or wood products, uh, pellets, and that's going to be a supplemental heat source when required by outside temperatures where the solar component is not quite there, kind of a fireplace to take the chill out on some of the weather we've had here recently in Colorado. We took standard dimensional frame house. We're going to blow it with an icing based insulation. And then we wrap the exterior of the house for a thermal break with another insulative foam with foil capacity on both sides to retain the heat in that's in and to reflect the heat that is on the outside out. Exterior wise, we're trying to keep the yard to a minimum keep the landscape requirements to where they're very uh, minimal water usage. Uh, porch wise, we wanted the house to fit in the Old Town Louisville to make it look like it's been here for a long time. We also have taken products that may cost just slightly more, but they have a lot of added benefit like the flooring for instance, the subflooring is a 50-year product. It's been outgassed. It has a uh, life expectancy of almost double what normal subfloors are. Uh, we try and use sustainable wood, environmental wood products when we're building the house without going to paying super high prices because we realize that production builders are probably not going to pay a premium price for um, sustainable wood products when they can buy wood products cheaper. So we chose to use wood products and keep their usage down to a minimal, but at the same time be able to use engineered products that are put into eye joists, wafer wood, sheathing, etc. You know, beams in here, which are basically uh, smaller dimensional lumber rather than going out and getting old growth timber. We've come in and taken beams that are laminated and we've put them in to be able to carry the weight of the structure. And we've tried to minimize the use of steel in this structure. The embodied energy cost going into making a steel beam versus making that 2 by 6 um, site laminated column is minimal. Windows are fairly standard. They're vinyl windows. Uh, some of them are low E, specifically the north sides. The south side uh, are basically standard glazing to allow maximum solar gain into the house in the winter time for heating capabilities. In the summer, basically the overhangs and some of the existing structures on other lots have been kind of played with to be able to facilitate shading the south windows to minimize the amount of heat gain that comes in in the summertime. The windows on the north, there's only two of them. They're very minimal, so this, the surface area of glass on the north side it's pretty much non-existent. We're going to use drywall, but we're going to use a different product for the finish, more of a clay type finish, topping compound. Uh, the drywall basically has recycled uh, newsprint on both sides. Most drywall is made like that, but not all. A lot of the companies that we use uh, have recycling principles in their mission statements. They try and minimize the amount of water used in the production process. It's very difficult to find an environmental siding. I've chose to use a product on here uh, that I think is going to be very durable. It may cost a little bit more upfront in embodied energy, but at the same time, um, the life expectancy of it, to me, it, it, it's able to recapture that cost many times over. Kitchen cabinets are kind of unique. We have a company uh, that specializes in custom cabinetry. We've asked them to take some uh, wood that's being resawn off an Ohio barn, and we're going to make all the cabinets out of recycled wood products. We need to be economical on how we heat our homes and how we live in them and be able to better utilize the space so our urban areas can be a little higher density but more well thought out, more well planned.